Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Tuesday, the 3rd of December. So, starting off with the euro dollar, and well, yesterday's um, bar, which I said looked a bit of a reversal bar, there was uh, yesterday's bar, the day before's bar, Friday's bar, uh, was, a, was a clue to the eventual uh, price action there on uh, yesterday, and we saw a, a, a full move up there. However, I mean, the, the data that came out from the US wasn't of the strongest, and uh, that's uh, given the market a bit of the heebie-jeebies so where next to the euro well we could be pushing up finally towards that uh, daily 200 i mean it, it threatened to do so back in october but never managed maybe this is the time um in the longer term i, I don't think it's uh really uh the, the data that's coming from the us is uh going to be the biggest problem because the uh, eurozone etc is just as weak so we'll see anyway for now technically it's pushing up towards that level and well um, looking at it on a four hourly point of view and uh, looking at these weekly pivots on the weekly pivots uh, the range yet last week was so so tight here well um, the pivots are squeezed together as you can see and we've run into the uh, R3 area it's had a reaction to that bearing in mind they are so squeezed it's one of those months where it could potentially uh, pitch out there but these these this uh, level is around these prior highs here so we'll just uh, I mean it coincides with those prior highs so that may find sufficient resistance but it has moved into a more bullish territory on uh, quite a few um, views from this this big move yesterday um, looking at today's move well any rollover beyond below this uh, I've got a 30 minute chart just change this to a 60 for a moment there we go um, below the current sort of this uh, well really might as well draw a horizontal line across here about 1071 may see us run that back down towards its uh, uh, daily pivot there at 10 1057 sort of zone um, so it's a, something just to watch out for there so um, it, there may be a bit of a correction um, if it corrects beyond that well we may be seeing a big, an overall bigger correction there's no news out from uh, Europe at all today so there we are um, the pound pound uh, also benefited yesterday um, slower and not so much um, it's, uh, it's been having these updates it gapped down yesterday and pushed back up closed the gap um, it's pushing back at this stage and uh, broken this trend here. We initially reacted quite strongly to it, uh, but uh, eventually um, broken uh, enough tap to this, broken up. I did uh, talk about this being a sort of uh, head and shoulder pattern. It doesn't really matter whether it is or isn't, but it's certainly in a, in a wave formation, pushing up beyond this level now. Uh, where to? You really need to zip out here and look maybe towards back towards that daily 200 maybe those prior highs may just stall things got to be a bit careful and not get ahead ourselves on the on the pound because anything uh, any sort of uh, significant use could could dampen the, the move but we've uh, we've got an election apparently in nine days time someone told me right that's the pound um, looking bullish um, there's I'll come back to hourly point of view here now and the only thing is on the, from the hourly point of view there is a so the only hourly point of view the daily point of view here that there is an untouched daily pivot below but um, maybe that uh, with the with the shove up we've seen here uh, it just may not get hit okay so pound uh, dolly yen So dollar yen strengthened considerably yesterday. We were talking about this in our trading room, and uh, sure enough, it uh, rolled over. Um, and it didn't just roll over; it was a huge move yesterday. It's just looking at a 60-minute chart, but looking at the dailies there, quite a big correction uh, all the way back up by looks of it to its daily 200, just about. Um, again, with a lot of these markets had such a big move. Uh, we might we might see a bit more of a retracement today. Um, uh, but uh, saying that the yen's already got back to its daily pivot maybe it will just uh, continue in that mode but uh, any break back above it well I may see it as I say maybe it's a, a bigger correction um, back maybe towards its 6200 I think the joy seen in those uh, week data in the week data yesterday may be being overcooked somewhat but there we are Aussie dollar 
the Aussie dollar. So uh, Aussie dollar gained um, yesterday, of course, and it's, it's pushed through again today. Um, the state the, I haven't seen the uh, Reserve Bank of Australia statement there, but uh, uh, must be at least mildly mildly uh, bullish uh, for it to have uh, continued moving in this. Uh, line here at this stage anyway so probably surprise the markets a little bit again daily pivot untouched below any corrections there there's a slight divergence running across these highs here so uh, any correction may come back there it really depends on the size of these corrections um, but uh, there, there is some potential uh, targets if it, they do start rolling over Canadian dollar uh, Canadian dollar, Canadian dollar really did the opposite, um, <laughs> and uh, and softened against the U.S. dollar there, and um, never never really caught up with anything else. It's just looking soft as well. Um, there's little to uh, judge here, as, as I say from an intraday point of view. It's not really doing too much. Maybe it'll strengthen back towards its daily pivot today, but uh, see all the way through yesterday, um, never really. Uh, gained a lot in fact it was three o'clock data was soft there as well so um canadian dollar not really going with it but maybe uh just uh one to leave alone new zealand dollar well the new zealand dollar started kicking off early yesterday and uh it's uh pushed up quite strongly i would mention this for ages it seems now um i'm holding a a longer term position on it and uh, was seeing it last week and we, for a lot of the week before um, just consolidate here it's just a bit like a coil spring and it's fired off here um, looking good for that uh, daily 200 but maybe uh, some more it's as I say it's more of a position for me for a longer term hold uh, we'll see how it goes but uh, I will gradually uh, edge the stop up but we'll just leave it leave it be it has got pretty much overbought where it's sitting here and we would would expect some sort of correction so can't get ahead of yourself on these sort of moves but uh, and this divergence is sitting here I can see across this 60 minute um, so may may well uh, correct a, quite a few points there but um, 30 points or so down to its daily pivot potential uh, again it's, it's only if these all start rolling it really depends at the moment the US dollar looks soft across the um, across a lot of them if it start if we see anything or any reason for it to start moving sharper we'll we'll see these corrections potentially quite straightforward 30 40 pips in a day is not a massive move that's pretty much it for me today um as i say news wise there's nothing there's just the aussie dollar that was it so uh, i wish you a great one bye for now